Hello, Roxy. Eh, I've got a bone to pick with you. Did you turn up to work late this morning? Oh, yes, you bloody did. Well, Roxy, jobs are only hard to come by nowadays. London's only getting tougher. You want to keep this job, you do. Because you wanna, don't want to be on them streets, do ya? And then you'll have no pennies. You want to be up them chimneys, earning the pennies and sweeping like a good chimney sweep. If you pretend to hide in those blankets one more time, I'm going to sack you for incompetence. Ain't no chimney sweep of mine going to be hiding away in blankets. What do you think you're doing? Roxy? Excuse me? It's not very polite to go and ignore people. Stop staring at things that aren't there. Tell you what, Roxy, you're the worst chimney sweep ever. So I see that's it. That's it, is it, Roxy? I see this is the end. Oh, you're rebelling, are you? That's not how you sweep chimneys, you great big lump of black and white. You know what? You should be thanking me for giving your kind a chance. You know, London's not very easy for someone who's black and white. You've got the best of both worlds, Roxy. Now go and sweep some bloody chimneys. Go on, Rox. I've opened the door. I've had enough of your chimney sweeping ways. You can't clean this chimney if your life depended on it. You're sacked, girl. Get out of here. Out, I say. Yeah, good riddance to you, Rox. That's the last time I let you clean my chimney. <laughs>